Hello, everybody watching my cool YouTube video. This is Ross Anderson, and I'm going to be discussing an achievement or event that sparked a period of personal growth for me. So, a big part of my life has been swimming. Uh, ever since I was six years old, I've been shoved in a pool and forced to swim down the 25 yards that make up the lap lanes. Until high school, a lot of my time spent in the pool was more or less begrudgingly since uh, I didn't really want to be there, but also my parents didn't care about that, so they sent me off anyway. Uh, naturally, after doing this sport for eight years before high school, signing up for high school swimming didn't seem like a bad idea, since my parents were all for it, and I was basically... Uh, an advanced swimmer at that point, I decided to take the plunge. To start off, it was just like cross-country running. Pretty tough, but eventually I got used to it. As the season wore on, though, uh, things started to go badly. <laughs> the early morning practices, uh, which were at like, I don't know, 5, you had to get up at 5.30 and then go to the pool at 6, get dressed, jump in the pool at 6.15, yeah, it was pretty miserable. But anyway, the early morning practices and the late nights were just not letting me function properly throughout the day. And the next day was the same crazy schedule. Um, and due to this situation, I wasn't really keen on continuing this activity. But that all changed with the first couple of competitions that we had. So of course, every sport has a competition. Uh, in this case, swimming is a bunch of different events similar to like a track meet uh, where you face off a couple other people's people instead of like having the whole team fight each other like football right um, so swimmers tend to specify in different events for me it was the 200 IM which is all of the uh, strokes uh, fly back breast and free and then breaststroke um, when, with these events I expected to qualify for state quite easily because I've been swimming for eight years previously, and also uh, I didn't think the queue times were that fast, but uh, the first meet came around, and I didn't qualify. And <laughs> I definitely learned to eat my words, because I didn't even come close to it. I was probably like 20 seconds off or something. So... Uh, this event kind of sparked my growth to improve throughout the season and eventually try and qualify for uh, the state swim meet. So as the season continued, I became more and more invested because more and more competitions happened and I still wasn't qualifying. So at every single practice, I was trying to do something uh, to make myself push myself harder or do something to change my technique so that I was getting that much faster at each of the competitions. Uh, so eventually we got to the last meet uh, and I was, I was pretty close. I was almost there and uh, I managed to jump in the pool and swim down the lap lanes or whatever and qualify for the state meet at our, one of our last meets of the year and that was really cool for me because I got to participate in a legacy of 25 years of winning state swimming. So yeah, that was, that was incredibly cool for me and it sparked a period of growth because I was able to overcome a hurdle in my athletics career. And I continued to swim throughout uh, all of high school and eventually placed at state my senior year for a pretty big deal. So yeah, that was definitely a spark in my life that continued to impact me throughout my four years of high school. 